a little bit better than that. Praise the Lord, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Last year, something happened, and it, I believe it has become a tradition. We uh, began in our songwriting class to do just that, write a song. Too often we go to different classes and we just sit and we just hear and we just listen and we write down. But this was a songwriting class. So we decided to actually put it into application and to write a song. Well, the song that we wrote last year was called Saving Grace. And it was, in fact, it's available, right, Monique, on uh, Sing Praises Volume 2 has the song that we wrote last year in it, so you've got to get it. Sing Praises Volume 2. It's available tonight. The song that we're going to do tonight talks about what God's purpose was and what our mission is. It says that we need to be and we want to be more like Jesus to reach the lost. More like Jesus to reach the lost. Every member that you see up here participated in one way or another in the writing of this song. So this song belongs to them. Let's give this. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, I only ask one thing of you. I only ask one thing of you. And the thing that I ask, keep in mind, this was a songwriting class, not a voice class. So if we mess up on some notes or something like that, forgive us. We, it's a songwriting class. Listen to the words of the song. More like Jesus.
more like Jesus. more like Jesus if we were more like Jesus then the world would be more like him the world would be more like him I'll try that one more time more like Jesus more like Jesus all souls to win If I, if I were born like Jesus, in the world, in the world, would be praise for the songwriting class. Amen. Wasn't that wonderful? Amen. We've had an excellent staff here at this conference. I appreciate Brother Carpenter. He, he outdoes himself every year. I appreciate that. Amen. They were wonderful. We're going to have from Baltimore, Maryland, if you guys would come on in, Abundant Life, UPC Choir from Baltimore, Pastor Chris Tharp, amen. And these singers and musicians, they will bless your heart really, really well. Amen. Why don't you clap your hands unto the Lord as they get ready to come, amen. to be here and uh, I've been to many many music conferences in my life probably I was trying to think I think about 24 I've probably been to and I've seen choirs come and I've seen them go and I felt the spirit up on them and I haven't felt the spirit on them, brother Libby but uh, I am looking forward to singing when I can sing with the anointing of the Holy Ghost because there's nothing like it I've sang with the anointing and I've sang without the anointing and I would much rather have the anointing upon me and uh, but uh, I am, if you're here and you have been coming to this music conference this week, we had our keyboard player here this week, and, uh, and you're working on something in your church, and our church is not that, that big. We have a keyboard player, Jason. He's 17 years old, never had a lesson in his life. The drummer is 14, and he's never had a lesson. It's just God-given anointing and talent. And... Uh, We've, we may not have all the accompaniment, and Brother Starkovich used to be with us, and 
and he's here and he's going to help us out tonight. But I tell you, there is nothing like singing when you can just give it all you've got. So if you've got a, a music program at your church, whatever you have, make it the best. Work with what you have and make it the best because there's nothing like it. Y'all worship with us as we sing. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's so good to be in Gaithersburg tonight and uh, be a part of this wonderful music conference. Now, I haven't been here this week, but I've heard all kinds of good stuff that's been going on. Have you had a good time so far this week? Has it been great? I would pray that uh, most of all that you felt God while you're here. Yeah, you come learn all the music you want to. But you know what? Don't allow that to substitute for God's Spirit flowing through you. Because all the knowledge in the world just doesn't, isn't going to get you where you're wanting to go. Now, it, it'll help your music department, and that's what you're looking for. But let God's Spirit move. Let Him flow through you. Now, I'm not up here just talking because they're doing this. I really mean that. I mean that. I believe that you ought to have the Holy Ghost flowing through every part of your body at all times. So that when you're at a grocery store, you're not playing the keyboard, not singing in the choir at those moments. But the Spirit of the Lord can flow through you then. You believe that? I believe the Spirit of God can move through you anywhere you are. Praise God. And I'm not the guest speaker tonight either, Brother Libby. But bless God, that was good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we set? Hallelujah. Yeah, we're just going to work the kinks out for everybody else. So just bear with us for just a moment here. Praise the Lord. Life 
Hallelujah. You might as well stand on your feet. If you believe you must be born again, shout yeah! If you believe you know you must be born again, shout yeah! If you know it takes the water and the spirit, shout yeah! Oh, come on, can you shout hallelujah? Oh, it's the highest praise. Well, tonight we want to sing. We want to sing a, the witness of Jesus Christ. There was a man by the name of Nicodemus who came to Jesus by night and said, Master, what must I do to, I want to enter into this kingdom of God. And Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Oh, Nicodemus being fleshly minded said, Lord, can I enter into my mother's womb a second time and be born? And Jesus said, except a man. Oh, let me go back because they're going to testify. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot see or enter into the kingdom of God. Woo! Come on, worship with us as we sing unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Never be the same 
must be, you've got to be born again. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's worship the Lord. He's a good God. How many of you know you've got to be born of the water and of the spirit? Hallelujah. You can't enter into the kingdom any other way. You can't slip into a back door. Hallelujah. You've got to be born of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to bring to the platform right now Brother Bill Lawrence from Amsterdam, New York. Bill has been attending ERMAC for a few, quite a few years now, and he's been a blessing not only to the conference, but also to uh, some of the recording projects that we've done here. He's an awesome Christian first. Somebody ought to say amen. I thought somebody would say amen about that. He's, I said he's a Christian first. He's a musician, but he's a Christian first. Amen. He loves God, and he's also quite talented, and he gives God the glory. Let's welcome him one more time. Bill Lawrence. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. You know, somebody mentioned something about this. <clears throat> it's kind of like a kind of like a musical stew with all the different types of singers and music and so forth. Well, I don't know where I fit in. I don't know if I'm uh, like an artichoke or a cauliflower or something. But, you know, Psalms 150 says to praise him on the stringed instrument. And I want to praise him just as much as anybody else does. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to stand upon his promises, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Please worship with me as I worship him.
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, clap your hands unto the Lord. That was unto the Lord. Hallelujah. That was totally unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God is worthy of praise. And I'm, that's, that, that is true praise on a stringed instrument. Hallelujah. It has just been redefined. Lawrence style. Amen. When you look in the dictionary now on the stringed instruments and string, <laughs> it's going to have Bill Lawrence's name right next to it. Amen. Now would you welcome with me the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, Tri-State Choir, D.C., Delaware, Maryland, Tri-State, under the direction of Brother Gerald Zimmerman. Please give them a warm welcome. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Isn't he worthy to be praised? I mean, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Glory! Thank you, Jesus. He is simply worthy. When you're going through your trials, if you can remember five words, he's worthy to be praised. No matter how, no matter how bleak it looks, no matter what the situation, how it seems, he's worthy to be praised. That's all that matters. And you have an assurance that you're going to come out of whatever you're in. Because God is able. If you're going through, clap your hands, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Ha, hallelujah.
remission of sin. Shout real loud, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Oh, the blood of Jesus that washes, that washes, that washes white as snow. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put them together.
think about what is done for me. I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I get joy when I think about Oh, when I think of what is done for me. I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I get joy when I think about I get joy when I think about when I think of what is done for me. Jesus, the joy of the Lord is my strength, hallelujah, oh let's magnify him, clap your hands all you people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, glory, 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 thank you Jesus, hallelujah, Come on, clap your hands again. Amen, amen. Praise God. You may be seated. We'd like to have Brother Tim Carpenter come to the platform right now as Maryland D.C. also State gets ready. And uh, we want to welcome him once again. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together. Thank the Lord for this brother here. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Are you enjoying yourselves? Do you feel the spirit in this place? That is one thing that I really appreciate about the church here. Um... Christian Life Center, I know that. Tom has been bugging me all week. But from the very first time that I set foot in this place and looked out and saw the congregation, I knew that it was like heaven. If you'd be so kind just to look around, you'll see some of just everybody in here. Heaven's going to be like that. Now, I don't know about you, but we are getting ready to go into the new millennium. The year 2000, if the Lord should tarry. I, 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 I want you to understand that uh, I'm looking to see more of this in our churches. I was sitting over and I was wondering what and meditating on what the Lord would have me to play this evening. Uh, I just don't want to get up and play anything. I want something that the Lord would move through and something that would edify. Well, the Lord took me a way that I didn't really think he was going to take me and it has to do again with heaven. There's a very popular song that was written for a movie called The Wizard of Oz. It's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Are you familiar with that? Could it be that the Somewhere Over the Rainbow that Dorothy was talking about, could it be that may have been heaven? It's possible. Let's see what the Lord has to say for us.
Does it make you want to go to heaven right now? Why don't you give God the praise right now? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. Amen. Now would you welcome with me from the youth department of the Maryland, D.C. District. This would be the Maryland, D.C. All-State Youth Choir from the churches around the state of Maryland. And the I was going to say D.C. I don't think we have a church there yet. But however, by faith, we're going to have churches in D.C. Amen. But would you welcome them, please, right now? Clap your hands unto the Lord. Amen. How many of you believe we serve a mighty God? Amen. There's nothing he can't solve. He's done so much for me, I can't tell it all. When you've tried the, the, the rest, the song says, come on and try the best. We serve a mighty God, a mighty God. How many of you believe we serve a mighty God? Amen. Clap your hands one more time unto him. We serve a mighty God. 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 We
Amen. You believe he's mighty? He is a mighty God. Amen. We've got a group joining us for the first time at Ermac. And we would like you to put your hands together and welcome. Just a minute. Sounds like somebody's having church in the hallway. Amen. Let's worship the Lord with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Raymond Grant was with us last year, Sister Kathy Mahan's brother, and he recommended this group, and we got in contact with them, and they're a group of apostolic Christians from Toronto, Canada, and then they call themselves WAB. WAPS is, is a initial, or what do you call it, an acronym for, acronym for Witness a Blessing. Apostolic Mass Choir, would you welcome them all the way from Toronto, Canada, WAB. Amen. Come on, let's give them a big welcome. Amen. Come on, give them a big welcome. Come on and put those hands together and bless the Lord. The Bible says I will bless the Lord at all times. Why? Because his praises shall continue to be in my mouth. Come on and magnify God. Doesn't matter if you came from across the street. It doesn't matter if you came four hours away. Give God some praise in here tonight. He's worthy of all the praise. It doesn't matter how you feel or what you're going through. He is God and he's all by himself. You might as well bless him. You might as well glorify him. Come on and put those hands together and bless him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I need thee. How many need the Lord tonight? Come on, how many you really need the Lord tonight? How many need the Lord tonight? Can everybody say, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you. I need you. I need you.
Jesus. I need you, Lord. You you, Jesus. I need you. I need you.
for you tonight, a group that sang, nah, they didn't sing, I, I guess they played for you last night. During the recording session, they played last night, and uh, our choir was in the uh, chapel area when they were uh, playing, and we caught, I caught a lot of flack because our choir didn't get to hear the Chalmette Gospel Brass. And many of you requested to hear them, and they're going to sing, they're going to play, one, I keep saying sing, man. They're going to play one song for you tonight, and I would like to let you know that they also have tapes and CDs in the foyer area, and you can purchase them at, at the booth. So would you welcome again, Chalmette Gospel Press from Chalmette, Louisiana, my home state. These are my homeboys. Amen. Come on, welcome my home state. Come on. Hallelujah. Warm welcome, warm welcome. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Come on. I feel his presence tonight. Amen. I enjoyed that last choir. Woo! It's good to know I'm not the only one that carries towel. <laughs> Glory. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. When I'm fired up, I need a towel. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. 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 Something about praising the Lord. 
Woo, it gives me strength. Hallelujah. It just makes the Holy Ghost follow me all over again. Hallelujah. I want to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether it be singing or playing my instrument, I want to give him the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to do is give me that old time religion. Back in Shalmet, we say, give me that old time religion. that at one song. No way. No way, Jose. I'm told you got a song called You Better Believe It. Are they, you want fired up? You got it. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Who's got a sip of water? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, you may be seated. But you don't have to. I said, but you don't have to. Hey, hey. You may be seated, but you don't have to. Glory to God. You know why? Because this place is about to get fired up. It's about to get fired up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John the Baptist said, there's one coming after me who's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, and with fire, and with fire, 
contend with fire. That fire that brings out iniquity. That fire that changes a man. That fire woo, that makes you a brand new creature in Christ Jesus. Glory, I'm all fired up. Get your hands together, come on. The Holy Ghost burning within me. I'm all fired up. I got a spirit burning in my soul. When something comes around, I try to put my flame out. That's when I praise the Lord, I'm gonna sing and shout. I'm all fired up. I got Jesus burning in my soul. People might stop and ask me why I praise the Lord like I do. Why do I clap my hands and lift my voice and jump around like a fool? You see, they just don't know what I came from. I was a sinner man. Now look what God has done. I've been born again. I'm a new creation. I got Jesus burning in my soul. Well, I'm all fired up. I got the Holy Ghost burning within me. I'm all fired up. I got a spirit burning in my soul. When something comes around, I try to put the flame out. That's when I praise the Lord. I'm gonna sing and shout. All fired up. I got Jesus burning in my soul. Praise Him like I do. Salvation is the plan you need. Just repent of your sins. Give your life to Jesus. Then you're on the way to succeed. And when you're baptized, in Jesus' name, your sins will be forgiven. There'll be no more shame. When the power of God takes control, you'll feel Jesus burning in your soul. Woo! I'm all fired up. I got the Holy Ghost burning within me. I'm all fired up. I got a spirit burning in my soul.